Hello, this is John Cavalli, and this is your July monthly capital market financial planning review. And we had lots of trouble last month, and I hope we've got it all figured out. I've even got a sound recorder and the video camera. So let's go to the actual post. <clears throat> All right, we had a lot of good stuff in uh, this month's post, and I'm going to run through and click review to give you a little bit more granularity. The uh, Our first financial planning tip is basically about Social Security. And what I want to get across here is while there may be a stigma about taking Social Security early, there's not an, uh, a one-stop-fits-all. It is not always a bad thing to take Social Security early. If you read all the financial pundits, they'll always say, wait and take it late. More things go into uh, this than may uh, meet the eye. I discussed it, for those of you that are listening, I discussed it here in this post in great detail. And also, those that are listening, I've got the chart repeated. And this chart basically shows the break-even analysis. And we can do a chart for anyone on this, given your parameters. But what I want to get across is it's not an easy decision, so don't take it lightly. Speaking of not easy decisions, Decisions. For those of you that are listening, I am just moving, rolling right down to another post. Here's the hot link for those of you that are listening to the actual post, <clears throat> and it's regarding pension benefits. Uh, for those of you that are lucky enough to have the pensions, um, the, our favorite option is the 100% joint and survivor. And there's a big, just like we say, not one size fits all for Social Security, that's the same um, th that goes for pension benefits. So read the article, call us if you have a question, or email us if you have a question, but uh, while our favorite um, benefit is the 100% joint survivor. It's not right for all people in all situations. Rolling on down to our last part, and that is the capital market outlook. So our capital market outlook is markets are kind of treading water, but earnings are going really, really good. So what gives? Well, they don't all, it doesn't always work that way. Markets uh, sometimes get a little bit ahead of themselves on the expectations of good numbers. Markets uh, sometimes go down even when good numbers, they expect bad things. This little chart that we pulled up and we put in this post, those of you that are listening, here's another link to the greater detail. And this was a 90-day treadmill update of earnings, which earnings are going really well. So earnings are going really well. Why aren't the markets? Uh, why are the markets just treading water? Well, they sometimes do that, but over the long term, thanks to our friends at Fact Tech, Fact Set, they do. We have a nice little chart that shows that they they rhyme. So it'll catch up. Let's have some patience. Um, that's it. That's our July monthly capital market review and video. We hope you enjoyed. We thank you for listening, dr uh, watching, driving. If you're driving, I hope you're listening. If you're watching, thank you. And we will talk to you again in about a month. Have a great day. Thanks so much.